When I was at school, me and my mate used to spend our RE lessons trying to make ourselves sneeze. We wondered a lot about the process, and he reckoned that a sneeze droplet could come out faster than the speed of sound, hence the noise. I somehow doubt it. 343 meters per second for a sneeze droplet? That's got to be worth an experiment. So, we're going to film a sneeze against this ruled blackboard. Mary, who works with us, rates herself as a sneezer, and she'll provide the droplets, which we'll then track with our high-speed camera in order to measure the definitive speed of a sneeze. Wait for it. Wait for it. Time to see what we've got. Look at the tension. Look how your eyes are screwed up. Oh, yes. <gasps> We've been joined by Professor Andrew Easton, an expert in virology from Warwick University. He's here to explain why we sneeze. A sneeze is a, a reflex reaction uh, in response to an irritation in the nasal cavity. And the irritation can be either uh, some dust or some other kind of small particles or viruses, because virus infections create an irritation that stimulates a, a, a reflex response that forces air from the lungs up through and out through the nose and the mouth to try and remove the irritant. The viruses that cause this nasal irritation have survived successfully for millennia because the sneeze gives them such a great method for transferring from one host to another. One of the reasons this works is the speed at which a sneeze leaves our mouth or nose. Some of that's super quick. To calculate the top speed of Mary's sneeze drops, I need to locate the fastest moving particle. This one seems like the, uh, the dominant <laughs> droplet. So that's what I'm gonna go for. Start tracking there. By playing the sneeze back frame by frame, we can see that the particle took just a hundredth of a second to move 20 centimeters. And that means your, your snot drop <laughs> managed about 23 and a half miles an hour, maybe 24 miles an hour. You wouldn't even get a speeding ticket in an urban area. <laughs> and it's definitely not Mac 1. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not Mac 1. But 20 miles an hour, sufficiently high, this could cross a room in less than a second. The other thing that I would love to know, because you know when somebody sneezes in public, particularly if they don't look particularly well, um, you sort of want to hold your breath until you think their sneeze has cleared. Um, how long does it take for a sneeze to clear? For the size of droplets that are small enough for us to actually inhale, about 17 minutes or so. 17 minutes? <laughs> That's right. So there's actually no chance of, uh, of holding your breath long enough to avoid the viruses from a sneeze. The virus has really found a very good way of getting around. It's an extremely efficient way to spread from one person to another. And it's all thanks to the power of the sneeze, a force to be reckoned with. <laughs>